All right, y'all. So you know, today might have to be a day where I do a double double upload because you know I didn't drop a video yesterday. So I probably might be dropping another one today just to you know just to bro. Yesterday was crazy, and uh, yeah, pretty much I was just in the I'm in the process of letting a lot of stuff go. So as bad as I as I wanted to do a video yesterday, I was like, let me just cool out. Let me just like let things process because I'm just letting a lot of stuff go. You feel me? Uh, different habits, some new habits that I formed that I'm just like, bro, how the hell did I even get into this? You feel me? Um, this is the spiritual journey. You feel me? Uh, and you're going to learn things about yourself. You feel me? So. In today's video, bro, like, um, there's a couple things I want to talk to y'all about. There's a lot of things I actually want to talk to y'all about. But uh, without saying too much, how you guys doing today? Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Hopefully, you you are in the right type of vibration. Yo, we're still in No Nut November doing what we got to do. I heard some people, you feel me, already got to start over. It's cool. It is what it is. But shout out to the people who are, like, still on a journey doing what you got to do. No matter what, bro, as long as you can wake up today and get and get back to where you was at or continue the streak or where or where you're going, you're going to be fine, okay? Uh so this is just a SR update. Uh pretty much what's been going on with me as of late. When you talk about being on retention, uh you know, over time it's going to force you to make a decision to, you know, let certain things go. The thing about it is that you have to let certain things go in order for new blessings to come into existence. If you don't like, let me put this on silent now because I always be forgetting. But like, if you don't, you have to make room for your new blessings, bro. You feel me? And this is a, this is one thing that happens on retention that happens a lot. Uh, and I want y'all to really raise y'all awareness when that when this does happen. And it just depends on, you know, what you got going on and everything. But I know for me, for a fact, whenever I'm on a streak or I'm in the process of letting something go, letting someone go, or, you know, just planning on moving on to a different state or whatnot, um, usually, obviously, I'm sober. So, um... From time to time, guys, bro, I do, I have been smoking uh, marijuana, you feel me? But every single time when I stop, while I'm on semen retention, I have no idea. I think subconsciously, I try to replace marijuana with women, bro. Like, dead ass serious. I don't know if this shit really happens to y'all, but like, try going on semen retention and be sober. Be sober for just give yourself a week. When you give yourself a week, you're gonna free, you're gonna realize like how you've been operating, how you've been uh, uh, moving, especially if you've been using marijuana every day, or if it's alcohol, if you've been using alcohol, whatever it is, bro. Go sober, bro. Man, for some reason, I don't know what my mind just becomes a lot more sharper. It becomes, it, or it's just in a, it's in a state of like knowing, like nigga, like you feel me. It's just you. You feel me. You're not using no substances, no shrooms, no marijuana, no alcohol to regulate your feelings. Like this is all you. Number one, you become super fucking powerful, bro, because you did this by yourself. You're giving yourself confidence. You're giving yourself energy, just by getting through the day without using the certain things that we use. You feel me? Um, being, being on the phone less and just, you know, letting go in order to elevate, you got to let go, man. If you go, you feel me? And, and the thing about it, it's not like, even when, it, even when it comes to like people, bro, like me personally, I don't really cut people out of my life, bro. I never have beef dog. Like even with my exes or even with, uh, the chick that I had got pregnant and she hated my guts and I kind of really didn't like what she was going through. Or how she was carrying her energy, bro. Like, at the end of the day, I still got love for everybody, you know? Um, with that being said, though, like, for some reason, dog, when I get sober and I go on retention, I somehow, some way, 
attract a new female into my life. I spit like, I don't know how I do this, bro. And this is why I say, I got to be careful when you're on this semen retention journey, bro. Because this shit, sometimes, again, it's not like, like, yeah, it can quote unquote backfire. But man, like, dog, if you... If you've been taking care of yourself, going with them, being high vibrational, you 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 look good, you're 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 glowing. I don't know, bro. This is something that I can't even explain exactly how it happens, but for some reason, bro, like <laughs> there's there's always a new one. Like literally, there's always a new one that comes up, that pops up. And this is me just being sober for a couple of weeks. Just for a couple of weeks, bro. You know what I'm saying? So there's there, there's something in that, bro. Like, for some reason, um, I think I'm not going to lie to you. This is the first time I'm actually admitting this on camera. But, uh, you know, sometimes I still be in the energy of fear. Sometimes I be fearing shit. I be scared. What I be scared of, I think I just be scared of my own light. I be scared of the fact that, like, I'm going to be bigger than life. You feel me? Bro, didn't I put you on silent, my nigga? What the fuck? Like, I'm scared of my potential for real. I'm not gonna lie, cause like when I when I decide to focus and when I decide to just say like I'm finna do this shit and you know day by day like I'm actually building towards doing it, bro. Like it just get it get real scary, dog. Like I have I'm him. I have the ability to be him type shit, but you know I just choose not to. I choose the reason why I choose not to is because I know I just have things that I want to work on. You feel me? That's all it is, you know. But, uh, yeah, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. On the semen retention journey, this shit gets a little crazy. Uh, especially especially when you're sober for, for a certain amount of time. I think, it's the, I think it's more so the magnetism within the body. You know, because your body is kind of like a physical or walking, talking, breathing computer. So, once something is... What something is like, basically, once you fast from something, your body has its own consciousness. So it's going, it's going to react. It's going to be like, okay, shit, if we don't have this no more, then we're going to focus on this. If we don't have this no more, then we're going to focus on this. Either, either way, bro, your body always readjusts. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, like, you know, sometimes if people got bad habits <clears throat> or vices, I would like to say, I don't even really like to call it bad habits, but just vices, bro. People really be thinking like, man, how am I going? How am I going to quit this vice? Or how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Honestly, bro, are you ready? Let me ask you this question: Are you ready to experience something new in your life? Are you ready to experience something that's totally different? Are you ready to see life in a whole different light? If you're ready to do that, then pretty much what you've been doing all this year. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't serve your soul, doesn't serve your purpose, bro. You have to cut that shit out, bro. You have to let go. The power of letting go, going within and being high vibrational, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You will have new experiences, bro. Far beyond for far beyond your imagination once you put shit down. I promise you. Like, I'm not kidding you. You might start to experience certain things. And you might be lucky. See. The thing about it, the reason why I say you have to like cut certain things out and put certain things down, or even if if it's a girl that she was talking to, you got to let that go. I mean, it's still all love, but you have to let that go, especially if it's not really serving you at this point in time. If y'all really can't really grow together, you know what I'm saying? I say let that go. Give her time to grow. Give yourself time to grow. If you really love her that much, I want you to love yourself that much first while you are by yourself. Understand what you have that self-love for yourself first, my guy. And then realize what do you have to work on or realize what can you get better at. Once you get into that type of energy and decide, you know what, let me take let me take a step back from this. Let me let me take a step back from that. Let me calm down. You will become God. I'm not gonna lie to you. And, and people will be like, What do you mean become God? And I'm saying like you're gonna become the best version of yourself. The highest extent of the mind you'll have access to because you're holding on to your seed and you're sober. You feel me? I ain't gonna hold you. I've been on retention and at times I still be smoking. You feel me? Uh, and honestly, too much smoking, yes, it becomes counterproductive. You feel me? 
Like, it's, it's almost like no point of being on retention if you smoke, like, heavy, 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 you know what I'm saying? But I know some people who do smoke, and, like, they they operate just fine. I've been, yo, I'm not going to lie, my highest streak, halfway through my highest streak, I was smoking, like, half the time, you feel me? Before I say, you know what, let me, let me chill the fuck out. And every time when I chill the fuck out, bro, I had a new experience. On top of that, I had a new female. I don't know, man. It's like, as soon as I decide to put down the weed, man, and as soon as I decide, because me, I'm not so much of a drinker. I could go months and damn near years without drinking. Um, as soon as I put down these substances, man, my mind just gets a thousand times more sharper, bro. So I could just imagine how my mind would operate, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm always, you feel me, just in my sober state, you know? The power letting go, man. Another thing, too, bro, not only substances can get you hot, but people can get you hot. You can get people hot, okay? You got to understand that when you are cultivating your energy, holding on to your energy, holding on to your seed, you got to allow pet. You feel me? Your body is godlike. When people when people see you, they know like, okay, yeah, this is something about this dude. You know what I'm saying? And then when you're with the female and you're, you're intimate and everything, it's, it's everything, everything just hits different, bro. Do your homework on how it hit different when you practice retention. All right. And this don't matter. This don't matter about the size, the ocean and the motion. None of that shit, bro. You feel me? Because everybody's uh, designed there. Everybody's designed uniquely for for a particular person. So. Uh, once you once you once you start to have those experiences, man, like it can get real intense. Though. You don't want to get too caught up in just uh, being intertwined with the female because that in itself especially if it, again if it's not serving you no purpose if it's not serving your soul no purpose if, if it's just like y'all frivolously having sex then that's kind of like a drug addiction she's a she's addicted to you and you probably got addicted to her she probably opened up your heart chakra and was like yeah man da -da 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 -da. now she got you tied up and lost in her sexual energy and she's lost in your sexual energy and now y'all think it's y'all think y'all in love but really it's just you know you know, y'all, 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 y'all addicts. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you know, she got to get her hit. You got to get your hit, you know? So learn learn to understand when you're in a toxic situation, bro, or when you're in a situation where it's just like, well, yeah, I could get, I, like, she, she going to look out for me only around this time. But then after that, like, we go our separate ways. Like, that's insane. Like, I'm not, I don't even understand how people could actually do a real relationship, like a long distance relationship type shit. And be okay with that. I would fucking go insane. How the hell I'm finna go. I hang out with you. I do everything passionately with you. And then now I gotta go back to another state. Bro by the time I go back to another state. Bro I'm finna be fiending for that same type of energy. And if I don't have that. Then what? I'm finna be. I'm, I'm probably gonna try to find something to replace that right? Why would I even set myself up like that? You feel me? People do that all the time, dog. When women get themselves in long-distance relationships because they don't want to be lonely. And, you know, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I would not recommend it. Now, if you know you're going to move move with somebody or, like, you know, y'all going to see each other, like, very often, then I say still have a friendship or have a, some type of relationship like that. But whew, you're setting yourself up, man. <laughs> you, you really are. I'm not even going to lie to you. I've been through it, bro. I've been through it. For some reason, God say, for some reason, I don't know, like, women in my city, I don't know where they be at, bro. They probably out there, you know, video shoots and photo shoots and shit, and maybe that's where I need to be, bro. You feel me? Maybe I just need to, like, really put myself out there and get into that type of, uh, that realm of reality with those types of people. But to say the least, dog, like, um... These are just some of the things that I go through. Sometimes I, you know, again, I put myself on the line. I, I speak on my experiences. Um, and I don't mind, bro, because, again, when I'm down and out and I don't have nobody, you know, to talk to or have nobody to encourage me or anything like that, um, you know, I am my best, my own best friend. You feel me? Uh, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to continue to encourage myself or encourage anybody that may resonate with this energy. Uh, MGT, what to do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT.
This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways-ass matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout-out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. And Joe, for the outro, yo, all I got to say, like I said, is, you know, the power of letting go, stay aware of your energy. Uh, the power, uh, again, the power of like really being sober, even if it's, you don't smoke weed, maybe it's just a, uh, shrooms or anything that you use. Take a break from that, bro. Cause again, all your brain really need to do is just a refresh. It just need, it just needs to get refreshed. It needs to get revitalized. And when you're constantly always in one state, you know what I'm saying? The brain sometimes can get very... Like the brain itself can get bored and you can get bored. And then that's how, you know, people get into shit, like literally, you know what I'm saying? So again, uh, less usage of the substances. I know there's a lot of people that still use or whatnot, but just less or less usage of the substances. Your mind is going to be sharp as hell. Be careful. It might be too sharp. You probably might haul at, you probably might attract another female into your life, another situation. I know that's, that's where I'm at right now where like every time I go sober, Every time I, I let things go, every time I go through a breakup or something or something like that, man, I give it two weeks and there's always there's already somebody new somehow, some way within my realm of reality that wants to talk to me on an intimate level. But I'm not going to lie this time around. I mean, I'm going to continue to have my experiences and shit like that. But this time, like, bro, my heart, I ain't going to hold you, dog. Like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of, like, opening it up for, you know, different women just for them to come in, have fun, and then leave type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they're going to do what's best for them. And then on top of that, like, I'm, I'm a content creator, bro. This is just going to come with the territory. Like, I'm not even I'm not even big yet. Like, yeah, I got 11K on, on, on YouTube. But uh, I'm not even that big yet, bro. Trust and believe. Like, you know, some of the problems I be having uh, whenever I am in a uh, relationship or a situation, it's usually women usually think that I have thousands and thousands of hoes, which I don't know why. But, you know, again, when you practice semen retention, of course, uh, women, women are attracted to you. And then for some reason, yeah, women, they just go is. They're going to think that, like, you are messing with somebody else. You're talking to somebody else because ain't no way you that handsome, that fly and everything, and no other female is fucking with you. When in reality, nigga, when I'm like this, bro, and I'm flying and all of that shit, bro, nobody don't even be paying me attention for real. The only time motherfuckers see me is when I'm in a store or if, I'm, if I happen to go to the mall. But I really don't put myself out there like that. You get what I'm saying? So outside of that, bro, like, yeah, I, I experienced a female attraction, but... I, I'm so I'm so focused on, you know, trying to build a foundation that I don't even go out. I don't I don't you know, I don't put myself out there. And once I do put myself out there, it might be different. But you can see that clearly I'm not. That's not what I'm worried about. I've attracted bad bitches before. Trust and believe bad ones. You feel me? So it's like my track record shows like, OK, well. I'm not ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't ugly. Like, sometimes we just go through a drought. Sometimes life happens and, you know, as a man, you go through a drought where you don't even... It's like, yeah, you're doing what you got to do, but shit, nobody really fuck with you. Shit, it's just time to focus on yourself. Take that energy that you will use to try to find a female or try to pay for a female or do this, do that. Take that same energy and put it internal, bro. Take some of that love that you've been... That people been draining you for and give it to yourself. You give it to yourself. You give back to yourself, man. And just be a little bit more smarter next time because I'm, I'm telling you, bro, girls are like buses. Miss one, next 15, one coming. Shout out to Gucci, man. Um, man, shut the hell up, man. The fuck? I always trying to, like, interrupt a nigga, dog. Dang, cuz. Nah, but it's, it's real shit, though, man. And my thing is, like, with me being a content creator and then also, too, like, Cause you know my Facebook page, I got a lot of females on there. You feel me? My YouTube is is for the guys. The females is for you know it's Facebook, and man, every female that has come into my life has always tripped over every. They've always tripped on the fact that like I have a Facebook page that, uh, to real talk again, it's just it's real. It's it's like how I look at it is like, bro. I got females on there. 
but it's to motivate the women, dog. It's to really motivate and make them laugh. A lot of people think I just use that to get girls, and that's, that's no, I don't. Because the second that I have the intention to say, you know what, I'm using Facebook to get girls, then the shit just never works. Have I met some females off of Facebook? Yeah, because they probably see my content and they probably see what I do on YouTube and shit and they want to like collab and shit like that. But like, do I use that as a dating app? No. But for some reason, again, uh, some some women that come into my life, they they see that there's thousands of women on my fucking Facebook. And I don't be fucking with none of them, dog. Like they just they just regular people, bro. They just react to they go through regular problems. They go through boyfriend, girlfriend, all that shit problems. And sometimes they just need to see a positive quote or a meme or something that's funny, a joke that'll get them to that'll get them through that day. And then you know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, I had people inbox me saying like, "Yo, I appreciate you." There's been times where I wanted to leave Earth, but because I saw you being so positive, you know, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And that means the world to me type shit. You feel me? So maybe the maybe uh, a relationship for me is not in my cards. Like maybe it's just like I have like a general love for everybody. And then I just have like my experiences with whoever may come into my life. And I that's just how I look at it. Like, because, you know. Again, people have they people have their reasons as to why they want to do what they want to do, but like at the end of the day with me, with what I'm trying to build, this ain't nothing. I appreciate all the love and all the new subscribers, but y'all really catching me in raw form, like raw footage form where I don't even I don't even I don't even have all the bells and whistles yet. So as soon as I get all the bells and whistles, it's gonna be a new group of people, a new group of population that's gonna find out who the hell Moody Star is. And when that happens, bro, hey, yeah, I just know from the jump, man, I always kept the 1,000, you feel me? Uh, I never like to put people on blast. Uh, I don't like to belittle nobody, you feel me? Because everybody go through something every single day, bro. And me, all this shit started just from me wanting to control my sexual energy, practicing semen retention. It's a spiritual journey, but man, I'm not going to lie, bro. I've, I've, I've just learned and, and, and just seen so much just from being in this energy. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be safe out there. Again, I already did my intro for the outro and I made it to 20 something minutes. I wasn't even trying to, but I guess I had to let that, I had to get that off my chest. So, but yeah, outside of that, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Much love. Uh, make sure you like, share, comment down below, drop a bag on the cash app to support the team. I uh, I think I do have PayPal as well, Moody Star Eight. If you guys want to donate there, that'd be cool. Um, or if you guys want to drop a super chat, I appreciate that. Appreciate that as well. Man, y'all gotta remember these days. You know, leather hoodie jacket, Moody. Um, but pretty soon there's gonna be a new era that's arising, and I'm very excited for that. So. Yeah, other than that, I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Much love on this side. Peace.